Hey everyone, Waterbot here, and I'm joined by Orbital Potato for something, something sweet, something uh, really cool, and something I don't think either of us expected, uh, Creeper World 4 multiplayer. And it's like an official thing, it's not like some janked up mod that somebody put together. Uh, we're, we're playing uh, Flood the World. Well, I guess, de-flood the world. Dude, I have played a ridiculously large amount of Creeper World in my time, but like, number four is still... A little a little a little brand new to me you know it's uh it's a little it's a little spicy going into this i'm it's... feeling excited actually yeah it's cool i gosh i don't even know how i'd rank them there are certain aspects that i do miss out of uh creeper worlds three namely i really like uh -huh. the upgrade system in that one i felt like it gave me a little bit more flexibility especially for mm -hmm. longer runs um okay but other than uh, that, I don't know. I this game is good times, especially once you start messing with uh, terps. Because uh, like being able to vastly restructure the map, like it was cool in Creeper World Three, creating like a mega fortress. But now you get to see that mega fortress in all of its like actual glory, as opposed to kind of like a top-down rendition of it. We should probably here's start. a question. Yes, I d I don't think we should link networks. I. I don't think we can. Are you are you sure? Oh no, we can. Okay, sure. I, you take bottom, I take I, top. Yeah, the the reason the reason why is that I think it won't it do something funny with and funky with like the output of the 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 orbs or or am I misremembering that? I don't think so. Uh, okay. I okay. I think what we will have to worry about is our our energy generation. Like we, it'll draw from our combined network as opposed to our separate networks. I think. Yeah. I think uh, that's what I mean. So there, there's a small amount of concern that like one of us is going to do something expensive and mess up <laughs> another person's delicately balanced system. Uh, I think that's just inevitable, well, and we should just accept it, you know, early on, as opposed to trying to proof against us being dinguses. Yeah, I think that's a good shot. Actually, I think that's a good shot. What have you managed to do here? Oh, you've got a, you've got a, there's a, there's less distance between the wall. Uh, there's less distance between the wall over, uh, over here. Oh, you have to unpause, by the way, it looks like. What? Ooh, how do I do that? Top right, I think? Or just like, just maybe... like that. Yeah, there we go. Now we're going. Go. Now, I will admit. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, your, your thing is down, but it's still this kind of like, Textureless white. Oh, ziggurat. yours, yours is yours is too actually. Huh, that's interesting. I interesting. One thing, one thing I probably should have done with this whole layout was actually uh, not put down nearly as many towers. I usually go yeah. overboard laying out my my kind of initial web, and it's not exactly energy efficient to do what I uh, what I just did, but it is what it is. It's fine. It's fine. I think we'll be. I think we'll be okay. I actually don't think. I mean, you've rushed to the second high wall. I'm yes. gonna try and take the low ground here. You know, so I'm gonna do the. Uh, I'm gonna do the Anakin, and I'm gonna have the low ground. Okay. Uh, and you do the. You do the Obi One, and so, uh, have the high ground. I'd honestly say just rush for the high ground on your end. I've done this map before, uh, and the it is like. Oh wait, the volcano is back. Oh, okay, that's good to know. Um, oh, there we go. Look at that. Look at that. Things are looking great. Yeah, if we can take the high ground, you can just effectively park a bunch of mortars on that wall and uh, keep everything safe. Trying to protect the low ground is always a little harder, uh, just from the perspective of, like, the creep overfloweth. And most, uh, most guns can't shoot up very well. Mortars can, mm. but, like, the actual gun guns are just, like, Nope, there's stuff in the way. Interesting. All right, I'm just uh, I'm getting my head around all of the all of the unique mechanics of uh, of this game because as I say, it's been a while since I last played it, but holy cow, I love me some Creeper World. Yeah, I got wow. way too deep into the series last year. Uh, it was during the mm -hmm. I, I think it was actually almost exactly a year ago. There was the uh, the Cre uh, Creeper World Four had its like first demo. As part of the, uh, yes. the June festival, and I was just like, "Ooh, I should give this a shot." And then I like 
you know, normally when I when I do demo thon kind of things, I just I, I go for maybe about forty five minutes and say like, oh yeah, this game's good. I think I went for like three hours on the demo because they had X number of levels plus the random level generator, and I'm like, yeah, this seems like something I'm just gonna get way way deep into. Uh, yeah, and then yeah, immediately went it's... out and bought both Creeper World three and Particle Fleet. It's so addictive. It's unbelievably addictive. I, you see, that's the that's the thing about um, about Creeper World. I'm pretty certain that all of the Creeper World I've ever played has been off camera, which is kind of remarkable for me because I don't usually play games off camera that yeah, much at all. I don't at all. Yeah. So for me to basically complete the campaign of number three, which was a great campaign, by the way, genuinely yeah. fantastic. Uh, oh, what was that? Okay. Uh, so do you see that? Here, I'm gonna pause for a second. Do you oh, see is, that, is that score launcher? launcher? Yeah, so uh, that shoots. Uh, yeah. Okay, so that is that's it gonna a be missile a missile that we need. Yeah, so you need what missiles, but need? do you see that red stuff? Yes. Um. So that is. Uh. Okay. Sorry. So the red stuff that you've got connected to your network that's uh red on you've got to put it through a factory to turn it into arg i think it is uh, cool and that funds the missile launcher we need to gotcha. boogie on getting that built quick because in a minute those spore launchers that uh that we just heard the alarm for are gonna fire and they usually are just gonna splash zone our entire uh that's an urn portal not a oh i see uh, they're going to splash zone our entire base and more or less wipe out all of our towers. Okay. All right. I'm 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 on it. I'll I'll fix it. Don't you worry. I've got this one, Wonder. Probably don't, to be we'll honest, see. though. Okay. I mean, we're, we're fine for energy. Like, we, we're absolutely pushing this stuff back. Let's see. One other thing as kind of like a sort of countermeasure against missiles, just in case, like, they do get through... Uh, you can just yeah. spread a couple of basic turret turrets just all over the place. Um, yeah. As well as missile turrets all over the place. Oh, and that baseline will just kind of, uh, you know, if any does get through, it's just kind of like, okay, uh, the turrets will clean it up. It's not foolproof, but it helps. A little bit of a little bit of a setback over here, but it's okay. I'm just uh, deploying my pre-built turrets for this exact eventuality. Easy peasy. Cool. All right. So uh, I've got my factory going. Uh, what do I need to be building? Is it anti creep, ARG, or lifting? Presumably uh, ARG. So it does right? it automatically. Okay. Cool. So it just automatically turns stuff into ARG. Cracked. Yep. Looks like you've got a missile coming towards your mines. That's actually not half bad. It could have aimed for far worse locations. Oh, right. Uh, thing that just happened, there's another uh, structure that we, oh, I forgot to mention. It looks like a kind of blob. It spawns blobs. Uh, the blobs will go towards your defenses and blast them. The uh, blobs so if you just build spawn some, blobs. Yeah. Uh, so the blob nest spawns blobs. Blobs will just kind of walk towards your defenses. And usually they go for more vulnerable things. Uh, nullifiers, for example. Which, by the way, uh, yeah. nullifiers do not work the way uh, you might be used to. Uh, in Creeper World 3, a nullifier would straight up... Uh, an, sorry. A nullifier would straight up uh, delete the enemy... Um, yeah, portal The enemy thing. spawners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't work that way anymore. Yeah. Now you have to keep them perpetually powered. And that gets cool. spooky. Cool. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. Speaking of spooky, I feel I, I'm going to move up my command post. There we go. On the move. Let's go, amigos. Why? Brilliant. Oh, I see. Just Why for not? energy generation. Uh, energy guess. energy generation and, I, uh, you know, just keeping, keeping it at the front of the pack. I guess Easier I usually just out. use pylons. Uh, gosh, were pylons? Yeah, pylons were in Creeper World 3. I just use pylons yep. for the faster speed, and I don't think about the rest. Do they increase speed, or they, do they just increase range? I thought they just increased no, range. No, no, it's, it's speed. Power packets move way ah. faster on a um, 
on a pylon. It. Yeah. Okay. This might work. Boy, if this works, I will be a happy camper. There we go. Okay, it's looking... Looking good, feeling good. I don't know what happened to my previous missile turrets, but it's being fixed now. Might have gotten killed by a blob. Probably. Probably probably died a, a miserable blob death. Okay. Uh, okay, radar performance thus far. How are we doing? Uh, I mean, we're good. If we can keep this trench controlled, this map is largely uh, cake. Just because the trench is where most of the emitters are. I think I yeah. see, what, one emitter plus the volcano? Uh, which, I don't think we can actually stop the volcano from spewing creep, but that's kind of a non-issue. Because it doesn't spawn that much. I'm Let's I'm moving see. on up in the world, Wander. I've got my oh. little outpost here. Ooh, okay. yep, so you do. Yeah, that's the go, trick. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. They're not going to fly through the big creep tower, are they? No, they don't. Let's see. No. And uh, the stash, uh, that like giant tower thing, is not dangerous. Uh, oops. Let's see. That's not, not dangerous, dangerous to you immediately. No. Uh, it's just a store, presumably, of... Uh... Yeah. Oh, this ain't gonna work, is it? Shoot. That's a big wave. Oh, is that that's spores? Uh, we got yeah. missiles. I got missiles. Yeah, loads of yeah, missiles ready to go. Uh, and I like to get missile launchers up high, if possible, because that gives them way better coverage. Yeah. Oh, a little annoying. Might lose a tower for that. That's fine. Okay. So yeah, I think I just need to move a couple of missile launchers forward and we should be golden. There we go. Kraken. All right. Know, but... This is this is feeling good. Yeah, I'm happy yeah. with this. I don't know about you, but I've I've taken to just building new. I almost never move anything anymore unless it's a turret rush. I'm kind of with you, to be honest. If you had to worry about upkeep costs for structures that just were there, then maybe I'd change my mind. But the only upkeep is is ammunition, so I usually don't think about it too much. The the weird thing is my default build mode is like uh, is turtle. Yeah. Like I I love to, but I actually really don't like the. Oh, that's a big old wave right there. Did that stash just pop actually? Uh, right on your if side? A stash popped somewhere? Yeah, if the stash popped somewhere, I think. Oh, uh, so do you see the, uh, I keep calling it the volcano, but I haven't really pointed out. Do you see where my cursor is? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That thing, uh, routinely erupts. And ah, just okay. Spew so spew creep and erupt. Yeah, it's gonna make getting to that blob nest really hard. Uh, I am about to start building up an air force, because I, I feel like it. Feels quite fun. Uh, let's rotate. Who's, uh, whose daft idea was it to make, oh, the rotation button? Aye, That's ridiculous. Oh. I don't think I even rotate anything in this. Okay. Missiles should Ooh. be fine. Oh, goodness me. Think I'll be fine. Oh. Mostly fine. Yeah, cool. Yeah. All right. My nullifier is out. I'm nullifying one of these uh, one of these spots. That's great. Uh, the stash presumably can't be recharged Correct. unless if it has there's an no creep, it will creep. not. Yeah. So it'll yeah. just stay uh, in a dormant state, I guess, until the creep starts showing up again. Cool. That's great news. Why don't that I have the speed a little bit? Absolutely excellent. Yeah, go for it. All right, let's do two times. One time is just a little slow for me. Okay. Do you play much for, like, uh, CRPGs or... No, not really. 
What is a CRPG? Uh, like... I don't know. The original Baldur's Gate games or, like, uh, Divinity Original Sin? It stands Not for computer RPG. Okay. Not particularly. Not particularly. Okay. Uh, it's, uh... Played a bit, but not 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 a tremendous amount. But uh, I know you've you've definitely played Baldur's Gate before, haven't you? Yeah, I grew up with those games, so it's always been just kind of my thing. But within the CRPG uh, community, there's always been a um, oh, that's interesting. There's always been the the debate between a uh, real time with pause or turn based. Uh huh. And I guess that's true of, like, strategy games, too. But I'm, Very I'm always much. curious uh, what other people kind of like within that. Like, do you do you prefer a real-time game or do you prefer a turn-based game? If I, I, I think turn-based games are very dated. Um, I think it kind of has to be real-time now. Okay. I, uh, you know, turn-based turn-based strategy games have a place i mean you know like civilization yeah civilization number x or whatever definitely has a place but um just feels very dated you know when you look at a game like europa universalis that's the that's the future in in my mind of uh of like grand strategy yeah. games yeah so you're uh, europa universalis and like stellaris then yeah, ba basically exactly that, yeah. Yeah, I've never played EU4 or Crusader Kings. They seem neat, but like, gosh, I just... This is going to sound kind of weird, but it's just like any game that is just set in like the real world, I'm just instantly uninterested in. It's like, yeah, but I've been there. I could go there. Give me You've like... been uh, in the real world. Well, yeah. It's just... Ah. Big wave. Big wave. Big wave. Big wave. Big wave. Big wave. Oh man. Uh yeah, what's the what's the strategy? What's the strategy to get in? I mean you've so, got a couple of little mortar terrors over there. Yeah. I can uh, help. So what I'm I'm doing is kind of making that into a foothold. I've got a really weird chaos strat that I want to try momentarily. Okay. Uh, which is, do you see where that spore launcher is on top of that mountain? Huh, yeah. The one I that was... I've just built a pylon to? <laughs> oh, never mind. There you go. You got it. It's just that easy. <laughs> yeah. All right. Because uh, the only thing that threaten... the only thing that threatens that specific area is the, uh, oh, sp... I don't think, sp... oh, wait, no, you've got mine. So yeah, you could do sprayers. I was gonna say, it's yep. like, I don't see any any sources of anti creep oh, no, no, on no. the map, but no, you, you got it. All right, um, All right. I mean, my usual strategy with this is just attrition. To be honest, just continuously push see, back until they have nothing left. That's the thing. I I love I love turtle strats. You know, I it's I love so good. Them. I could never get into competitive uh, StarCraft because it was just like. But I want a turtle, and they're like, "Yeah, no, you get Zerg rush, Zerg rushed." And I'm like, "I want to, I want to play late game all the time." Yeah. Yep. I remember enjoying the beta for that before any kind of meta strategy existed, because uh -huh. I would do co-op with a friend, and so I would turtle as Protoss, and he would, uh, he would attack his Zerg, you know, much earlier, and so we just kind of do sword and shield, and it worked incredibly well. And then yeah. we came back for like the the actual release of the game, and then it was just like, oh, this sucks. This is not. Yeah. This is legitimately not fun. Not what you, not what you had in mind. Yeah. No. Oh. There we go. Oh. All right, my. My strike, my strike force are inbound. Yeah, I'll do it. Uh, by the way, you can build porters. They're like the little plane things. Were they called porters in the previous game? I. Uh, good question. Forget. It's, dude. It's been such a long time since I last played Creeper World Four, and then even longer 
since I played Creeper World 3. Uh, a porter. Okay, how do I, what do I use for a shield? I use red stuff for a shield? I'm gonna build a shield. Screw it. Yeah. Shields are good. Shields are real good. Uh, totem has been activated. I don't know what yeah. that means, but we're doing uh, it. It's that shield thing that is kind of in the middle of the valley. Yeah. Defend. Defend. Aha, the volcano. The volcano is no match for my turrets. Easy. Easy. All right. I got my own shield up online. I'm just trying to build all of the things that I possibly can build. You know, to to use them. What else? A, a platform? What's a platform do? Okay. I'll build uh, a, port, so a porter pla as Platforms well. are used for, like, building in the void. Okay. Uh, let's see. So, specifically, there's a lot of, kind of, these open spaces. Um, let's see. There we kind of go. Sorry. I'm having a little That's trouble good. with my porters. Uh, let's see. So, there will be certain maps that are just, like, mostly space with nothing in them. That's where you want to build... Uh, that's where you want to build platforms. They're very vulnerable. So, like, not really worth using. That's all good. And um, what about, uh, what does the, the Terp do? So the Terp is the terraforming tool. Oh. Yeah. I'd, I'd recommend building one just to play around with for a little bit. They're a little energy sure. intensive. But, uh, yeah, you want to make, like, a moat. It works really well. Right, what's being blown up? Something's something's being blown. Uh, oh, it's I think you. that was the missiles. If you look at the bottom, uh, bottom left, there's like a timeline thing, total delta cover. Oh, yeah. Along yeah. that timeline would be uh, little indications of like something got broke here. And ah, it doesn't seem like anything actually got damaged. All right. So, uh, oh. Uh oh. Oh, little little so, little hold up there. I was pausing. Ah, okay. Unfortunately, my delete button. Uh, so my pause unpause button is shift, and my delete things button is shift X. And so, uh, it's very easy. Well, I mean, I guess I'm constantly uh pausing and un unpausing. You probably yeah. just don't notice too much. Netcode seems <laughs> totally smooth to me. Very, very. Okay, next question. What does the sniper do? So sniper is for taking out the blobs. If you see the little brown maggot-looking things that come for your defenses on the regular, those uh, you need to snipe with a sniper. There's also eggs, but there are no eggs on this map, which is kind of a blessing. Okay, that's cool. All right, things are looking things are looking great, Wander. This is looking. Like a professional operation. Yeah. Go. Alright. I mean... I still need to figure out how to use porters. So, porters, you select the porter and then, yeah, choose where to put the pad down. You're probably ah. going to need a tower to uh, specifically spread. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah, I don't know if building on top of the, uh... <laughs> Just... I was being ambitious. Yeah. No, retreat, 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 my preciouses. No. Back. There we go. Okay, so what happens to the porter when the porter, uh... So the porter will to... not blow up. Uh, what it does is it just kind of waits for the ground to clear out. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's cool. This is this is feeling okay. This is feeling okay. Uh, let's do. Let's do a whole bunch of these. 
I love how you can just like shift click and then just drag out a whole bunch of turrets. Yep. It makes building so easy. Okay. There we go. Oh boy. All right. This is the first time, this is the first time in the game where our energy usage has uh has gotten a little spicy. Oh, your energy usage, mine is fine. We're still on separate grids somehow? Are we? Yeah. How? Maybe. Don't know how uh, that works. It says my generation is 33.4. What's yours? Maybe, maybe uh, we are 30. on 30.6. 30.6. Okay, Must so we are different. on separate grids somehow. Huh. Because I know I can but, send you resources. Hmm. Yes. And I can... I mean, look at the bottom right. Like, for example, there's definitely... Your infrastructure is meshing with mine. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, I think I just threw a sprayer down into the into the hole. It's pretty embarrassing. Uh, it's fine. The hole didn't like it. <laughs> uh, the hole didn't like it, and I'm gonna. Oh my god! I sent freaking energy instead of blue white. Oh my god! This is a disaster. Wonder. It's a disaster. It's a learning <laughs> curve. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it is a hilarious disaster, though. Okay. All right. I uh, dude, these porters, these porters are fancy. They're nice. I I, I like never I like ever them. used them in the previous game, and now it's just like, oh man, I can just uh, I can just move energy wherever I want, whenever I want. Sounds like a good time to make a forward operating base right next to their emitter. That seems great. It's super nice. All right. Okay, and then nullifier there. Okay, need to reactivate the totem. Oh, dude, we got this. We got yeah. this. As if there was ever any doubt in my mind. Go. And... Terror for good measure in there. One porter is not enough to feed this army. Okay, we're having a bit of a slowdown. I think maybe we have too many... Uh, too many turrets rolling. <laughs> yeah, oh, well. we're, we're playing with our food a little bit here, I feel. You know? I do. It, any turtle game, that's exactly what you do. That's just... That's the, that's the fun. That yeah. is the game, I suppose. You make make your defenses ironclad, and then... Then you start thinking about... You know, may, right. maybe... Doing a counteroffensive. Right. Let's see... Let's see what'll happen here. I've got my boys on the ground. My cannons are ready to go. Yep, there they go. I do really are like the fact- Are they gonna defend? Uh, let's see, yeah, they should be able to keep that off. That one tower might get, uh, one or two towers Toasted. might get. Yeah, but that that's was easy, okay. dude. Yeah. That was easy. Huh, interesting. All it's right. not showing you it. your shield generator. Now what happened to uh what happened to my nullifier? Oh, did the Huh. Oh. Uh let's see, one of the maggoty things might have destroyed it. Oh, it's okay. not uncommon. Cool. Aha. I'd see, by the way, there's uh there's something under the special tab you might like called the M Rift. It's uh Okay. So effectively, it instantly transports your resources from one MREF to the next. So if you put one next to your base and then put, like, one at a forward operating base, it's like they're right next to each other. Oh, wow. Yeah, super nice. But you will have to build one next to the uh, next to your base, and they're kind of expensive, so you don't want to build too many all at once. Oh, I didn't even look at the cost. Yeah, it's 200. Oh, 
Two hundred. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's a big number. Yep. Okay. okay. Do we we have to activate? Oh, this is easy. Yeah, I know. We just we're we're playing with our food, as as I say. But man, it feels good. Yep. All right, what do we got to who have we got to nullify? Who's uh, who's remaining? Uh, let's see. So there is oh, the blob, blob nest, nest in the center and one totem. Yeah. And that's it. So we just have to get there. Problem is volcano. Uh I think there might even be Hold on. Yeah, we can nullify And pile on there, pile on there. Okay, all right. I'll uh, I'll get the blob nest done, I guess. Yeah, I still haven't seen one of these little beetle things. Uh, they come out on the regular. There's a timer if you mouse over the blob nest. There's a timer until you know the next one comes out. Yeah. Yeah, 54 seconds. I gotcha. Okay. Nullifier. Cool. Structure. Excellent. And can the uh, can the blobs just be defeated with the regular old cannons? Snipers. Has to be snipers. Ah, snipers. Snipers, snipers, snipers. That explains so much. I have exactly zero snipers. Yep. So earlier, I think you'd okay. you'd asked what kept breaking your stuff, and the answer was blobs. Them, the bl the blobs. Okay. This is my missile launcher. Uh, I guess I don't need any missile launchers. It's a Did little the, uh, obnoxious. The last, last couple of bits. That's eh, fine. I. Uh, I think everything's okay. It was just those freaking little blob. Yep. Blob boys that ended up destroying me. Okay. All right. I am. I am putting my. I'm putting my turrets in harm's way. We're moving in. It's time. All right. What do we got? We just have, what, one totem to, to go, and then... Uh, I'll tell you what. I have a group of mortars that I can move around to help you out here. Yeah. The one thing about mortars is they always shoot for the deepest, so they're not actually the greatest at, like, keeping waves back. Ah, okay. They'll get distracted easily. Aha! We got it? Okay. I've nullified. Yep. So we just have to activate this totem and then we're done. Easy. Uh, what's a what's a beacon? What does a beacon do? Uh, beacon. I... Special oh, tab. Beacons are very situational. Every once in a while you'll run into an area with... I'm going to call it like dark creep. Hey, we're uh -huh. done. Uh, but Easy. beacons will push the dark creep back. All right, gonna rift jump before that volcano goes off. Oh, actually, was gonna pour anti creep on anything on everything. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we could, <laughs> we could keep playing for I guess a moment. <laughs> I, I want to see. I want to see what happens. All right. All right. I think. Well, they poured some anti creep on everything. They're, they're gonna. Gonna pour Was that more? it? Did they just like take a quick piss and then peace out? I maybe. <laughs> I, it seems pretty lame. Oh, there they go. Uh, I don't I think, think so. Uh, uh, they can't fire when they're inside the creep. There you go. That's uh, that's good intel. All right, all right, we're 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 done here. Let's yeah, we're done. Rift Let's out get before out. I get too embarrassed. <laughs> oh. All right.
Well, I think that was a a good first episode of any. So uh That was excellent. Yeah. Yeah. I am I'm looking forward to this. I don't think we'll want to ever expand up to four players, or at least not until some more uh netcode changes happen, because I was noticing it was hitching a little bit. But I think for two yeah. players this is gonna be perfect. Yeah, it was great. It was I was really surprised at the smoothness, to be honest. Yeah. Well oh. I guess on go. to the next. But before then, thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.